Good morning. We're uh, just pulling out of Sierra Sky Park in uh, Fresno, north part of Fresno, right off of Herndon. And we're taxiing out to get ready to uh, take off. So I'm going to kind of talk you through this as we go. And uh, I'm going to make some stops at some, or some flyovers at some intermediate airports on the way. Just another day at flight simulation and practicing. A little speed bump there. Okay, this looks like we got enough runway here to make a decent takeoff. So we're gonna have to pull up over the little hump for the and we're going to hold short here. And it's time. Let's see. I guess we better do a run up and check the mags. Left mag okay, left side okay, okay. Back down to idle. Check for air traffic in both directions. Don't see anything. Okay, we're gonna pull out onto the runway here. Get lined up. Okay, brakes on. Yep, parking or rotor brake off. RPM up to about 2,000 and start pre rotor. Okay, we have rotors alive up to 100. 150, 200, about 225, it starts to torque rotate, so I let go of the parking brake, release the rotor brake, and away we go. Back on the stick, level off, pick up a little airspeed here. Got it, 75, let's climb out. Okay, I'm going to fly over. Towards to the west until we cross intersect Highway 99, and then we're going to use Highway 99 as our IFR. I follow roads. We're going to stop at or do some flyovers at some airports along the way just to see what they look like for future reference. So that's all for now. Okay, I eased off on the uh, cyclic there and his nose, the nose go up, so now I'm uh, trimming the rotor to maintain level flight at 100 miles an hour. Uh, run a little bit, about 10 miles an hour faster than I normally do, but don't want to make this a long, too long of a trip. Anyhow, here's 99, coming up at about 10 o'clock there, you see. I'm turning north, thereabouts, and we're going to follow 99 on up. In the middle of the screen, uh, you see, in the middle of the dash, I should say, you can see the um, GPS display, and it'll show me airports, and 
and uh, different up towers and things like that. But the little green round circles are airports, so as I spot them close to my uh, course, I'm going to deviate a little bit and just do a quick flyover. So, anyhow, we got one coming up here in about four or five miles, so I'll shut up for now. Okay, this is Madeira, uh, and I'm not sure what the name of that river is, but if you're really interested, I'll look it up and put it in the footnotes on the video. Anyhow, uh, correction from what I said earlier, it's not little green circles with a slash runway mark through them, it's they're more of a magenta or a pink color. Anyhow, I don't know how well you can see them. Uh, I only publish these videos at 720 
uh, to avoid huge long files. But anyhow, you'll see an airport coming up here. Yeah, that's Madeira. Yeah, Madeira's airport is just north of the, a little west of the town. Yeah, we're gonna zoom down and take a fly over the runway. Getting close here. Anyhow, I'll shut up. You'll they're kinda of self explanatory. Madeira. We're gonna turn around in the right direction here again. Log 99 as we climb uh, back up to uh, cruising altitude of about 900. We'll level off and pick up the speed again to 100 miles an hour. Solibury Ranch, we're going to climb back up, uh, 
next coming up will be Chowchilla. Uh, we'll pass over um, a turnoff that goes for the highway that goes west to uh, Los Banos and I-5. And I'll point that out as we fly over that. Okay, this is Highway 152 heading off to the west here, right at our 9 o'clock right now, where Chochilla is coming up, and we'll do a high speed low pass uh, right over their field. Wake up all those crop duster fellows, although they're probably out. If it's a decent day and not too windy, they're out working already. Nah, not this time of year. Crops are all in. They're all in there selling lies and drinking coffee. But we'll wake them up anyhow. Uh, I'll see it's coming up here. See the lights? <laughs> Looks like we're right on their glide path for a second here. Anyhow, here we go. We're going to cut down. We picked up a little speed because I didn't cut the throttle back. I just nose down a bit. So now we're up about a... 110 miles an hour, down to 500 feet, and yeah, we're going to drop down almost on the runway. Uh, the simulator doesn't show it, but right about here is where all the buildings are in the hangars. So, yeah, we're down to, it says 300 feet MSL, so we're about 40, 50 feet over the runway. 110 miles an hour. And pull back the stick and get use up some of that energy to climb back up. You see we're climbing fast. 600 already. Anyhow, set back. And uh, I don't, I'll have to look up and see where the next airport was I flew over. I believe it was a thing called Johnson Ranch, but I'll confirm that when I get back with you.
Okay, we're at uh, about 10 minutes out of Merced now. Maybe about 9 minutes, actually. We're moving pretty fast. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'll see. I'm going to double check and see what, if we're doing that flyover uh, Johnson Ranch. I think that's what I'm doing right here. But I'll let you know. Coming up on, not Johnson Ranch, that was on the map, but I, I didn't actually fly over that one, I don't believe. This is called the Flying M Ranch. It's about 8 to 10 miles due south of downtown Merced. You have to kind of watch fast, because we're moving at v &E, actually, 115 miles an hour. There it is. Again, I don't know whether the simulator is depicting these correctly, whether that field is paved or whether it's just a dirt field or gravel or what it is. I have a feel it's not a gravel, uh, paved field, but I don't know until I get a chance to fly over them for real in my own Benson gyrocopter, which this is going to be well within my uh, practice area radius out of Merced. Okay, we're climbing back up here, back up to 900, uh, leveling off, and Merced is coming up here. So we're going to land and taxi up to what, again, is approximately where the hangars are. Uh, the um, simulator doesn't show all uh, the buildings. Well, someday if I get energetic, I may uh, add my own scenery so it looks more realistic. Said airport, uh, experimental gyro 440 Sierra Mike is three miles to the southwest, coming in a uh, coming in for a uh, left base 230. Okay, uh, we're going to be cutting the speed here pretty quick. Percent's coming up pretty fast. I'm still cruising along about. 100 miles an hour, which wouldn't be a good thing to land. So anyhow, uh, we're going to uh, come in here at about a 45 and then turn left base 430. Merced, uh, experimental gyro 440, Sierra Mike is turning final 430.
Okay, folks, we're down to 65, 60, actually. Let's see how slow we can touch this thing down on the runway here. Doing it down, pulling her up, 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 uh, 40 miles an hour. Well, I like it better when it's 30, but anyhow, uh, I'll kind of shut up here and taxi on in, and then uh, we'll shut down the rotor once we get off the runway. The little jerk you see here was when I applied the rotor brake. It's pneumatic on this particular gyro. And it caused a little bit of a torque jerk to in a clockwise direction. So you just have to know it's going to happen as long as you... It's pretty safe to do while you're rolling as long as you're at 100 RPM, rotor RPM or less. So that big uh, three or four story building back there doesn't really exist. I think the tallest building in Merced is five stories and it's the hospital on the north side of town. Uh, again, the landscapes they put in these things are, they don't know what they really are. So they, they put what they think ought to be here. And there's multi, many, many multi-story buildings in the landscape over Merced, the aerial views. And uh, they don't really exist. <laughs> But it's okay for the purposes of simulation. Okay. We're rolling up. I'm going to stop approximately where my trailer will be parked in the open area back at the west or east side of the airport. And uh, again, these buildings don't really exist. There's a lot more buildings around, but. Nothing like you see here, so... Okay, we're pulling up to a stop. And... That's about it there. Oh, folks.